Now, here's a question for you. Has the vegan bubble burst? For some of us, it was never a bubble, to be perfectly <laughs> honest. Uh, but Oatly, Nestle and Innocent Drinks were amongst those pulling plant-based products from shelves, as figures show even Veganuary backfired. Well, someone who looks and feels exceptional from her non-vegan, balanced diet is former Hollyoaks actress uh, Davina Taylor. Wonderful to have you with us today. So, the vegan bubble... Has it burst? I even think it was Burr Grylls who said, do you know what, I did the vegan thing for a little while and I wished I hadn't or I'm off it now. Well, I, uh, good morning from Clitheroe, by the way, where I'm surrounded by beautiful farmland with sheep and cows, which I am very proud to say I consume. I'm a mother of four, so I want to give my kids the most nutrient-dense food on the planet and that, I'm afraid, is basically what we what, what what we see in these beautiful countrysides we have some of the best nutrition available to us because we have all this blooming rain so we have naturally grass fed animals that we should be eating and consuming for our mental health it's got heme iron in it's got b12 so if you're going to have plant based foods basically it's just glorified carbohydrates which as soon as you start consuming it it mixes with your saliva and it turns to sugar so you pile on the weight and you become very sort of lethargic and it's quite addictive. So this vegan food is just what I call greenwashing. And if your great grandmother didn't eat it, I suggest you step away from it. So I've, I've written two books about it, actually. I'm mm -hmm. just going to give them a quick pull. That's what I do. <laughs> so my first book, It's Not a Diet, basically mm -hmm. explains my, 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 uh, the reality of how I got really overweight eating these foods. And then my next book, Hack Your Hormones, which is out now, explains how it impacts your mental health because your hormones are triggered by what sort of food you have. And it's just like, it's, it's a con. It's an absolute con. We need these foods. And if anybody thinks that vegan, um, vegan lifestyle doesn't kill animals, I mean, just watch Watership Down. Do you remember that awful movie we watched in the oh, 80s ew. when all the bunnies get chopped up? That's what combine harvesters do. I mean, it is, there is no death free sort of diet it's impossible to avoid so if you shop local like i do there's loads of farms around here cut out the supermarkets cut out the factory farming you can be rest assured that the animals have been raised with integrity and killed with dignity with as minimal pain as possible davin that book the first it's the first book i'm more interested in it's not a diet the no cravings no willpower way to get lean and happy for good which i think was written for me um i saw a thing that said I lost four stone, but still eat fry ups and Chinese takeaways. Now that sounds good to me. So how, how does how does that how does that work? Because I'm 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 up for that. Right, okay. Oh so my, we've got a picture of you on the screen there. Hormone release. That's what it is. So I have my carbohydrates at night because it triggers a carb coma. So if you think about having a sandwich during the day by two o'clock, say at lunchtime you have a sandwich by two o'clock, that's turned to sugar and you're already shattered again. So it's about timing your carbohydrates. So basically throughout the day, I have like a lot of fat and protein. And then during the nighttime, I ride that carb coma to bed. And what it does is it stops that addictive eating, which I generally, I, I've got quite an addictive personality anyway. So it stops that addictive eating where you're constantly seeking snacks all the time. So if you do have your Chinese takeaway, it's not constantly on your mind because you're not actually fueled by sugar per se, you're fueled by fat. Now saturated fat is an actual superfood. And I do think over the next five years, the cholesterol hypothesis is going to be debunked. She, Already, the American Heart Association... She's won me over. Yeah. She's won me over. But, yeah, listen, listen, but listen to this. The American Heart Association guidelines, where the rest of the world takes all of its lead, all the guidelines from, has now put a little paragraph in it that says saturated fat and dietary cholesterol is no longer a molecule of concern for overconsumption. But we've not done any press on it. So when well, your doctor well, says... You've done it. You You're doing that press. You know, Exactly. So bring out the butter, bring out the eggs, let's go and have scrambled eggs, but save your bread for later on because it'll make you I nice. feel I've done a workout I already. Say, Davinia, I want a bit oh, of no, your I'm energy a bit and, I want a a bit bit your energy and enthusiasm. Thank you, thank you very much indeed for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Now, the thing that I thought was interesting, because sometimes I have... Um, vegan food but what i just have vegetables i don't buy the mm. processed foods i think that's the worst thing those processed foods mm. anyway more on uh, the philip schofield scandal bombshell next